Good morning, everyone. I'm still having my coffee. But I thought while I've got the baby girl down and Carson's watching the movie, I would sneak off to the kitchen and I would make some muffins. These are so easy to make. This video is going to be a part one and part two because I'm gonna make two types of muffins. So the first muffins I'm gonna make are pumpkin muffins. Oh, they are so good. You can even make pumpkin bread out of this. This recipe is just super easy. And you're gonna need a 30 ounce can of pumpkin pie mix. Now this already has the spices in it. You don't have to add a single thing. So let's go ahead and dump that in. Now one yellow cake mix, any brand, it doesn't matter. Now you'll need one egg. I do take the Kaleza out. There it is. Beat that egg. And we're just gonna pour that in. Do you make a mess? I always make a mess in the kitchen. Just mix this by hand, because you wanna get it mixed really well. It smells so good. You can add some nutmeg or some pumpkin pie spice to this, but you really don't need anything. I'm not a big fan of these sprays. This, this one's an olive oil cooking spray, but on this pan here, I do use this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and spray each one. Now you're gonna wanna use a teaspoon, and I put about two teaspoons in each little muffin cup. This makes exactly 48 little muffins. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven. It usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes. And voila, fresh out of the oven. These are so good. Okay, I'm gonna let these cool off for about 15 to 20 minutes, maybe a little longer. And then I'm going to put these in some Ziploc bags and freeze them. So instead of buying those expensive boxes of muffins, this can save you a lot of money. And children love these, adults too. This is a quick, easy breakfast for all you hardworking men and women out there. You can just take it out of the freezer and take it with you on the go. And also you can do a party tray with these. You can put your muffins in here and get a nice bowl and put some icing, some cream cheese icing in the middle and a spoon. And voila, you've got a nice little party dish there. Now I'm gonna make another pan of this, so make sure to come back and watch that video.